Talk to you about him every yeah. year. What do you uh, have you seen much from him with him going on with the Titans and just kind of what does his career mean? To you? Yeah, I've heard he's doing really well. I mean, he's one of those guys who you know incredible GPA, he was valedictorian, does everything right, going to be wildly successful whatever he chooses to do in life. So uh, I know he wants to play for as long as he can play, and, and I think he'll have a great career. He's, he's smart, tough, um, and, and can be very versatile for them. You mentioned Pat Mahomes a second ago. How much are you in communication with him? I know obviously you have a lot going on now. He has a lot going on, but what's your relationship like now? Yeah, we'll, we'll text from now and then and um, talk on the phone um, every now and then, but it's more just checking in, letting him know, hey, we're behind you and excited and kind of seeing where he's at. I know he's been seen in Kansas City a lot, Royals games, NASCAR races, that kind of thing. I mean, did he have that man about town kind of vibe when he was in Lubbock? Yeah, he was very supportive of all the sports teams. That's one thing. He's, uh, you know, he's a team player in that regard. And so I think he just wants to, to make sure everybody in Kansas City knows how happy he is to be there and how excited he is to be a part of that community. When he takes steps like that, I mean, how much does that help him trying to be the franchise quarterback to step in and fill that big role that, that Alex Smith? Had? Yeah, I think there's there's more to just the playing the position when you're making that much money in that, in that league. They want you to be um, the face of the, of the franchise and, and be a man of the town. And, and uh, Pat's got a great personality for that. He's very down to earth, very humble, very focused, and, and I think he'll be able to handle it well there in Kansas City. Is that something that you talk with him about while he's going through the draft process or trying to get him ready for all that? Hey, you know, not only are you trying to go to the NFL, but you've got all these other PR things that go along with it. Yeah, I think it's more, um, you know, as stuff comes up, um, if he needs to ask a question or, or bounce something off me, I'm there. But uh, once he's done with me, I, I don't try to kind of tell him his business. It's more just be supportive and uh, let him know that, that we got his back out there and love it. You know, you helped Dakota with his fashion since you giving Pat also fashion tips. Hey, you should wear this for your press conference, that kind of thing. No, he, Pat does his own thing, um, but he's got enough money now to start buying some nice suits. So <laughs> I bet he'll look good this, this fall. Thanks. Yes, if, uh, I had someone the other day tell me that De Leon is really um, taking y'all's message and doing what y'all want him to do. Is that what you see? We hope so. We hope so. It's, it's night and day from where he was um, last year. So we're hoping that he will carry that into the fall because he loves football, great work ethic, never misses a rep. It's just maturity and focus off the field is the area he had to work on. We, we feel like he's, he's made some real strides. I'm sure this has been hit on at length today, this, this new redshirt rule that's in place this year. As a coach, how much does it change your mindset? What, what type of different I guess, strategy do you have coming into this season? Yeah, I think we're all kind of working through that, how to use them, when to use them. Um, the one thing it does for me is it helps the focus of those freshman players because they know now they're going to play. So in the past, it may have been, hey, I know I'm going to redshirt. I'm not going to worry about learning the scheme, working that hard in practice. I'm just going to play scout team. Well, now you're going to play at some point. So if you don't want to get embarrassed, you better be locked in. You better be focused. You better be studying your, your information. And it's the same thing with the coaches on the sense of urgency as far as working with the freshmen. Where in the past, I may not be coaching these guys up as much because I know they're going to scout team. Well, guess what? Now they're going to go on the the field and, and play at some point and be a reflection of you. So I think it's good. I think it gives them a, a safety net and it, it really picks up the sense of urgency for the player and the coach to uh, to develop a player at a higher level. I know every coach is different and heck, maybe your opinion might change from day to day on it. But I mean, do you think it's more beneficial to do you know, kind of earlier, get those, those four early or maybe kind of hit it at the, the bowl game and, and swing it at the offseason? Yeah, I think it's, it's a little bit of both. You know, obviously early on, you'd like to get them in there and, and get the you know, butterflies out and let them know, hey, this is just football at the end of the day. But on the back end, if there's attrition or injuries, you'd like to have them to make sure that you can get through a season as well. So I think we're all going to feel it out and kind of see how it plays out this first year. Is it tough to draw the line on who you do use? Because, I mean, you can't put every single freshman in and use all four, though. It's just probably not going to work. Right. Is it tough to draw that line on who does and who doesn't? No, I mean, it'll be dictated by kind of talent and need and, and things of that nature. So I think that'll play itself out. But um, you're hoping you can be in a situation, at least one game, where all those guys can play um, that one game. And then after that, uh, I mean, it'll be hard to fit, fit everybody in. Thanks, Coach. Yes, sir. Coach, what can you tell us about uh, Kiki and, and did the Houston Texans get a uh, sleeper there in the fourth round? We feel like they did. Um, I had talked to Wes through that drop, draft process. Welker is now coaching for him. And um, I told him I thought he was as dynamic as any player that I've worked with. At, at that position, and, and from what I've heard, he's he's having a great camp there in the spring, and um, I think he's an absolute stud. So I think they got a, a really good weapon. Yes, sir.
the other big rule changes coming in this year is obviously on kickoff. Um, have you even started working with guys yet? Because I know you don't do much special teams in the spring. Yeah. Are you addressing that with the with thing? Yeah, we, we, we've it? talked to, through it. I think it, I don't think it will change as much as people may think. I mean, there's a bunch of touchbacks in college football first off. And then um, I think if you're a team and you think you have a dynamic returner, you're going to return it. And if you're maybe a lesser team, you don't think you can return it that far, you're going to fair catch it. So I, I think it'll be less of an impact than people actually think. Let me ask you a few bigger picture type pick. Why, why do you think football is so important? As far as life? Yeah, just, well, I mean, why? I mean, you, it's important to you and it's important yeah. to your players. It's important to the people that support you. No why doubt. do you think it is so important to everybody? Uh, I think there's, there's just a sense of camaraderie in the game. Um, you know, a sport with that many people on the field at one time, all having to do the same thing right together. Uh, there's a bond that's built there. Um, and when you grow up playing it, you get around it, you fall in love with that aspect of the camaraderie, the relationships you make. And um, then as a fan, it's just, um, you know, it's a, it's a game that's physical and um, one you can get behind and, and follow. And um, you have these colleges you went to school and it's a great passion for that university. And, and uh, your team is a great representative of your, your university. Yeah. <laughs>